With my series out on Disney+, Plus, there's been a lot of talk about me on the internet. I thought that I would take this time to set a few of you haters straight. For those of you that don't know, my name is Jennifer Walters. Yes, She-Hulk is a really stupid name, but I didn't choose it. It was probably either Stan Lee or John Buscema, the guys who first put me into the February 1980 edition of the Savage She-Hulk, my first comic. I guess those two are my real parents. I love you, dads. Now, just because I am big and green and really strong and pretty hot, doesn't mean that I'm also not really smart and a really good attorney. I am a really good attorney, so don't mess with me. A lot of people have complained because in the first episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law, Bruce and I were having a discussion and it got a little heated. And I said, Bruce, I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult or might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. So all of this just feels like projecting a lot of shit onto me. See. Some say hey, the Hulk went through that kind of shit too. First off, it was the Hulk that went through it, not Bruce. And I was talking to Bruce. Before Bruce became the Hulk, he was a privileged white man, and he did not understand some of the shit that us ladies have to go through. Before he had the transformation, he did not have to control his anger the same way that I do. That was who I was talking to. Second, did you all get huffy and angry when Stark showed how arrogant he was in the first 10 seconds of the first Iron Man movie? And then pretty much every second thereafter, every time he was on the screen? What about when Strange showed what a giant ass he is? No. You looked at this as a chance for those characters to grow and get better and to learn. But I was not given that same consideration by you. I was not given the chance to learn and grow and get better. I already have to be better. So I repeat, I am an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. Yes, I could have worded what I said a lot better. But I'm human, and I got emotional. Deal. Don't blame me. Don't blame my writers. Blame society for not allowing me to have emotional reactions and learn from them. Now, let's talk about twerking. A lot of y'all started to slut shame me for that, saying I was lowering myself by doing it. Let's get one thing straight. Megan the Stallion is a big and bold and beautiful woman. When a woman that hot comes into your office and she wants to dance, my God, you're gonna dance. As for twerking being demeaning, almost Every dance having to do with jazz, rock, or pop has been called devil worship by some segment of society. Twerking is no different. It's just a dance. It's good exercise. It's fun. So let's do it. You gotta get a good wide stance here. You gotta take your hands like this, turn them over, put them on your legs, stick your booty up into the air, and wiggle it. All right, honestly, I'm not very good at it, but it's still fun. And Megan the Stallion, she is really good at it. And unlike me, who's fictional, 
Megan the Stallion is a real person and check out her video for her. For those of you that are a little concerned about the language, that ain't for you. Go find Sesame Street or something.